All right, guys, Cowboy32 here. Check it out. We're sitting here in the Freedom Office. And yesterday I did a video on the, uh, what he called the tyrant himself with, I don't know, how many executive orders does this guy have to put out? It's interesting. We're going to start off like this. The executive orders that o Biden started with uh, are more than any other president in history, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Put it in the comments down below. What's your favorite executive order that he's put out? And the interesting th part about these executive orders is that they don't impact our country in a positive way. Uh, I don't know if you heard, but Shell's going to lay off 7,000 people here in the near future. 7,000 people. The, the guy jumped on the boat to appease his Greenpeace people without providing for jobs for these individuals prior to their, oh, dismissal, their dismissal. That's all they are to him. But in any case, let me know what your thoughts are down below about those executive orders. Now, let's talk about this. Pelosi has to jump on the bandwagon. This lady, at 80-something years old, can barely carry a full sentence, and she has to use her hands. And I guess the thing is, is that she has to put herself, this is the deal that I have about, she has to put herself in the limelight. Anytime somebody else does something, she's got to do something. And this is why, I guess, she couldn't stay in Trump because, well, he outshined her by all reserve. But in any case, she comes out with a statement yesterday on the same date that uh, o Biden did. Uh, and I'm not going to read the whole statement because there's some parts in there I do have a lot of respect for talking about the kids who were taken from us down there in Parkland. It was a tragedy. But I'm going to tell you something. No amount of gun control would have prevented that. You know what would have prevented that was a jackass sheriff deputy. <laughs> He could have drug his ass in there and stopped it real quick. But he was a coward, and they've convicted him as such. So we'll talk about this. Today, we continue to grieve the work of Parkland families and survivors who have turned their pain into courageous action, inspiring a movement across the country to say enough is enough. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to come down to it where their enough is enough and our enough is enough is going to conflict and we're going to come head to head and we're at that point right now and this is the part that absolutely chaps say it with me my ass last congress talking about the congress last moved by the daily epidemic of gun violence now i was talking to a friend of mine who's a law enforcement officer and i asked this individual what is what's the definition of gun violence and they told me that is the act of violence using a firearm Okay, so when we say gun violence, the only thing that these government idiots can understand is they think gun, immediately gun. If this guy didn't have a gun, he wouldn't be able to do that. If this person didn't have this, they wouldn't be able to do that. Nah, if they have a hammer, they can do that. If they have a knife, if they have a machete, right here in North Carolina, there's been several instances where jackasses are running around with machetes hacking people up. A good guy with a gun can cure that problem real quick. But anyway, gun violence and the guided by the millions of young people marching for their lives. They're misguided miscreants that have no clue what real life and the Constitution is about. Evidently, the Constitution is nowhere to be seen. You can show a Democrat, and I'm saying all Democrats because I know a lot of you guys out there may be Democrats. But unfortunately, this is where we are because of that situation. But you can lay a, a <laughs> constitution in front of Nancy Pelosi and she goes, that's just a set of guidelines. We, we don't need to pay attention to that. That's no big deal. House Democrats took bold action. I love it when it's a bold action. How bold is it to go ahead and take a firearm or create a laws that only affect, only affect law-abiding citizens? How bold is that? You know what would be real bold is if you address the actual problem, go out there and hit these gangbangers up and take them down. But, oh, you can't do that because that's screwed as racism. Bullshit. Take care of the problem. What you want to do is you want to take care of the law-abiding citizen by taking the guns out of the hands of law-abiding citizens who you think at some point in one time is a potential criminal. And that's the sad part about it. Ladies and gentlemen, the government is not here to regulate us. We are here to regulate the government, and they're getting ready to push it a little too far. To bold action to save lives and end the bloodshed by passing H.R. whatever, uh, the Bipartisan Background Checks Act, and H.R. 1112, the Enhanced Background Checks Act. 
What the hell was that? I don't even know. It's basically the thing where the FBI and the three days and all of whatever, I don't care. Now working with the Democratic Senate and the Biden-Harris administration, we will enact these and other life-saving bills and deliver the progress that Parkland community and the American people deserve and demand. Lady, you better account for there are people like me and millions others like me. <laughs> we demand stuff as well. And, well, your little pity party does not outweigh my right to the Second Amendment. And it shall not be infringed. <sighs> gun violence. What is gun violence? Put your definition of gun violence down below. It's a person. The first part of that, that definition is a person. We need to do more about regulating these individuals out there who are assholes. But the idea that they think, well, if we can tell you that you have to lock up your guns, less of these guns will be raw, uh, stolen and used in crimes. It's partly true. And I'll tell you what, every weekend when I leave, all this stuff has to go into gun safe. But that's, I think, a personal discretion. You have kids running around the house. Do what you got to do. Train your children is what I say. We will not rest until all Americans in schools and the workplace and the places of worship and throughout our communities are safe once and for all. I'll sit here like this. These things, they're never going to do anything. Ever. They're not here to commit a crime. They're not here also for target shooting, as I use them for target shooting. But that's not the main reason we have firearms. All firearms, I don't care a shit who, what, when, where, and how. And this is why if you lead and you let them get this, they will continue to dig until we are Australia or we are Canada, or we are New Zealand, and they will take and take and take and take and take. Your little deer rifle, 30 out 6 oh gosh, you can't have that. It's, it's like a high-performance sniper rifle, war, firearm of war. Biden and his jackass plan of going after the firearm manufacturers. Well, let's go ahead. Next time somebody gets killed and they're driving a Ford and the family of the opposing family, they need to sue Ford. Right? Because no one needs a gun or no, I'm sorry, no one needs a truck with four-wheel drive that can go that fast. Right? Common sense. They've lost it. There is no common sense on there. It's just what they believe. Nancy Pelosi is surrounded by people with firearms. Oh, Biden is surrounded by people with firearms. You and me, we're left to fend for ourselves because they feel like if they put a regulation on you and I, then the criminals, oh gosh, what are they going to, well, I guess they're just going to lay their guns down too, right? It's the sexy part of being a Democrat. It's the official cry. They're anti-gun, and they will always be that way. So, I just wanted to share this with you. Nancy Pelosi has to jump on the bandwagon because she sure as shit can't be left behind. I'm just waiting for Chuck Schumer to jump in on there. But thank God there's enough Democrats who I believe are pro-Second Amendment. If there's always that but. But, right? Anyway, let me know what your thoughts are down below, guys. Go to War32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you've already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform who will support our Constitution and stand with us shoulder to shoulder to protect our Second Amendment because I feel like that's where it's going to come down to. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.